Welcome to episode 8 of Let's Play Civilization 3 Complete. Alright. Hopefully in this episode we will meet somebody new. That's my hope anyway. Cruise by Denver, which is a coastal jungle city. I bet you never would have expected that. Alright, here we go. Yes, we're going around America on one side and um, the Netherlands on the other side. So, yes, our 25 cities are growing well. And now we have the bananas. No, tobacco. What am I saying? They look kind of like bananas if you, if you don't focus on them well enough. But yeah, tobaccos are connected. And that's a very, uh, a very good thing. Now we have two horses, or two sources of horses. Of course, uh, you know, strategic resources are something that you really shouldn't sell unless either you're really desperate for money or the uh, sieve that you're selling them to is uh, fighting somebody and you want that sieve to win so you want to give them stronger weapons but it can come back to bite you for those of you who saw it in my original LP the um, I gave um, Ooh. All right, here we go. Here comes the revolution. Off with their heads. Bring out the guillotine. All right. Anyway, um, yeah, but we, um, huh, I totally forgot what I was talking about, but that's all right. Yes, we want to, um, we really want to find somebody new. Because I'm tired of hanging out with the same crowd. The one good thing, though, about being on a peninsula way over here is you don't have to defend from as many angles. And, uh, that's a good thing. Oh, I remember what I was talking about. In my original Sith 3 LP, I gave, um, rubber to, um, one of my neighbors, the Mongols, because they were fighting the Celts. Um, what ended up happening though, they made peace with the Celts and declared war on me, using my own rubber against me. Heh <laughs> he said rubber. Eh. Yeah, very funny. Is that still America? That's still America. We got one Dutch uh, city and back to America. Oh, America. Uh, Netherlands. I'm getting tired of seeing both of you. It's time to see somebody new. Well, of course, when the Mongols attacked me, the, um, you know, they rapidly, uh, ran out of all their infantry because now they no longer had a source of iron. I repaid their treachery by completely taking over their civilization. More than half their citizens starved in the progress, or in the process, so, well, you could say I t taught them a lesson. A very harsh lesson, but a lesson nonetheless. Alright. New Orleans, okay. Alright, oh. I see someone different. Oh, wait a minute. I think we've discovered if my knowledge of colors in this game are correct, I think we've just discovered the uh, Chinese. Persia. Um, what are you doing? I mean, I know we have a right of, or a, you know, a right of passage treaty, but, uh, yeah, what are you doing over here? Are you possibly using this as a shortcut to attack the Americans? In which case, great. Otherwise, you're kind of worrying me. Yeah, I don't know. Don't know if I like these developments. All right, let's uh, creep forward here around the edge of the civilization. And can I talk to them now? No, 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 no. <laughs> wrong button. Nope, nope, other wrong button. Jeez, okay. I don't know. Why can't I? Nope, we haven't met anyone else. Never mind. All right, worker, you just automate. 
Maybe whoever that is will talk to us. Or maybe we're not close enough to talk to them. Alright, you're really... Okay, Persia? You're not making me happy. Egypt declared war on the Americans. Oh my. Go, Egypt, wherever you are. Beat those Americans back. Well, it looks like our priorities might be changing. Because I don't know what they're up to, but I really don't like it. Just as a precaution, we're going to um, shadow some of these guys. And it's too bad we are in a period of um, anarchy, so we can't really build anyone to defend ourselves. We can upgrade that guy, though. All right. No, I was wrong. It was not China. It was Spain. Yes, when Spain is on the map, it takes the color that China usually is. And China takes a more pinkish color. Hi, Spain. It's great to meet you. Are you way ahead of us in technology? Yes, that's wonderful. Well, you don't have iron, but you have horses, apparently. So, it's good to meet you, Spain. You are south of the Netherlands. Now, if I remember my history correctly, there was a time in history where Spain did control the Netherlands. I'm not sure under what shenanigans that was possible, but that's, uh, that's what happened. Alright, Persia, you're really creeping me out. I know I said that already, but... Yes, I think we're going to have a little bit of a change of plans here. Oh, okay. Here we go. I do not like this. I do not like this one bit. Can we rescind our Treaty of Rite of Passage? No, not yet. If only I could make a mutual defense pact with the Americans at this point. But I can't. So I guess I won't. Still. Alright. Ugh. River's stopping your forward movement before engineering. Okay. What do we have going on over here? Yep, the Netherlands. They must be massive. Look at that. They stretch all the way through here. Unless the interior is water or another sieve, which is entirely possible. Oh boy. Persia, Persia, Persia. I think I know what's going to happen. But I don't, uh, don't know if I can really... Well, I can mitigate the situation the best I can. All right. Oh, man, we're losing gold. Can you give us gold, Isabella? Nope. Never can. Yep, no matter what expansion pack you're on, they still are not not going to give you any gold. Okay, where are you going? I don't understand what the Persians are doing. If they would have attacked, if they wanted to attack, they would have attacked someone long ago. But wait, what did I see? She's coming back to me? No, no, it's an Egyptian galley. Um, <clears throat> my swordsman, swordsman. Yeah, we really need to build up as many swordsmen as we can, even over here. Yeah, we're going to have to do something about our treasury. Um, reduce you down to 40, will that be enough? No. We have to go all the way down to... All the way down to 30. But I think that currency should be our main concern when it comes to researching technology. Because, well, we need it to advance to the Middle Ages anyway. And we need marketplaces. Because we can't keep running deficits like this. Where are you going? Are you invading America? Are you invading... I don't understand. I really don't understand you, Persia. And I do not like what I don't understand. So I'm going to put a guy over here. Alright. 
Yes, more swordsmen at every opportunity. Okay. Yes, Egypt? How are you? It's great to see you. Are you also vastly ahead of us? I could buy a worker from them. But I don't know. I don't know if that's worth the money. Um, or is it? You know. It might be a bit of an investment now, but it will pay us back because we don't have to pay them for their labor. So, yeah, Egypt, you can have a worker in our lands. Oh, there we go. Oh, boy. There's definitely something amiss because these guys are very much moving along. And look at these workers. Yep, they didn't look like that in Play the World. That's definitely a new feature. See, there's our workers, and there's an Egyptian worker. Well, he's one of ours now, so get your axe and start digging, or whatever it is that you do. Yes. Oh, man. We got shovels and pickaxes. Plenty and plenty. I still am not sure what you're doing, Persia, and I'm still not comfortable with you. But, little we can do. Alright, is every city connected by road? Just two. New lines and new tours. And they are where? Well, new tours is over here. Um, new lines is up there. That's going to be connected soon, and so will this. Okay. You can just automate now because every city is now connected to our road network. And, well, Persia doesn't seem to be interested in fighting me. They're just going past me. But I'm still not, uh, not too comfortable. And I saw a different colored chip over there. We're going to be meeting some new neighbors, it seems. All right, build an aqueduct. All right. Well, we can already bump our science funding back up to th to a 40. We're only suffering a loss of one gold. Well, I think that's it for this episode. But before we do, let's take a look at these statistics. We are larger than America, according to um, according to this. Um, I wonder if these rivals are only the ones that I know. Something tells me that it is because. They only are countries that we have been in contact with, so there might still be countries out there that are larger than us. We just haven't met them yet. Um, actually, no, there's not, because I press this button. Okay, there's one country larger than us in population and one larger in land area. But we don't know either of them. They're probably the same country. But we have 6% of the land in the world is under our control, which is really a pretty small amount when you think about it. And... That's only land, that doesn't even include sea, obviously. And we have 10% of the world's population, which is okay. But the Netherlands are the next biggest in area. America is the next biggest in population. Our culture is lagging, but I doubt that culture, culture victory is something that we're going to care about anyway. We are almost caught up with America in score. So we are doing well. See, we're slowly but surely sneaking up here. America. So it's a wonderful thing. Well, that's it for this episode. Um, join us next time in which we will hopefully find out what these sneaky, stinky Persians are up to.